the biggest baby in our NICU born to an IDM mother. When we first saw this newborn, everyone was amazed. Usually, NICU babies are tiny and fragile, but this one was completely different. Today, I'm going to share with you the story of this remarkable baby, the challenges, the care, and the medical learning behind it. This baby was born to a mother with diabetes. We call such mothers IDM, meaning infants of diabetic mothers. The mother had gestational diabetes during pregnancy. Despite being under treatment, her blood sugar levels were difficult to control in the last trimester. When mothers have uncontrolled diabetes during pregnancy, the baby often grows larger than average, a condition we call macrosomia. This happens because the high blood sugar from the mother passes into the baby through the placenta and the baby's pancreas produces extra insulin to handle it. That insulin acts like a growth hormone, leading to increased fat and weight. The delivery was planned via cesarean section because the baby was already measuring very large on ultrasound, around 4.5 kilograms predicted. When the baby was delivered, everyone in the room gasped. He weighed 5.2 kilograms. It's rare to see such a big baby in NICU. The baby cried immediately after birth but was brought to the NICU for observation because IDM babies, despite their big size, can face serious complications. At first glance, you'd think such a big baby would be strong and healthy, but IDM babies can have hidden issues. The most common problems we see are 1. Hypoglycemia, low blood sugar after birth. 2. Respiratory distress. 3. Polycythemia, increased red blood cells. 4. Hypocalcemia, low calcium. 5. Cardiac hypertrophy, enlarged heart muscle. Asterisk. Our baby was immediately monitored for all these conditions. The first blood sugar reading showed a mild drop, 32 milligrams per deciliter. So we started in four infusion of 10% dextrose. That's standard protocol in NICU for IDM babies. Now let's talk about why infants of diabetic mothers are admitted to NICU. It's not just about size. In fact, these babies are at risk for multiple metabolic issues. Uh, they often face low blood sugar, because once they're cut off from maternal glucose after birth, their insulin levels remain high. Or they may have breathing difficulty, as high insulin delays lung maturity. Or they may even have heart enlargement or birth injuries due to their big size. So, careful monitoring in the first 48 hours is extremely important. For IDM babies, early feeding is key to preventing hypoglycemia. We encourage the mother to express her milk frequently and breastfeed every two to three hours. We also spent time counseling the mother about maintaining her own blood sugar levels post-delivery, as diabetes can persist or reappear later. Education and follow-up are crucial for both mother and baby. Let me take a moment to explain some quick facts for parents and medical students watching this video. A normal newborn weight, 2.5 to 3.5 kilograms. A macrosomia, baby weight greater than 4 kilograms, or 90th percentile for gestational age. A common cause is maternal diabetes, prolonged pregnancy, obesity, a risks for mother, difficult delivery, C-section, birth injury, risks for baby, hypoglycemia, respiratory distress, polycythemia, jaundice, cardiomyopathy. So remember, not all big babies are healthy. Size doesn't always mean strength. Proper medical care is what truly matters. It's always heartwarming to see such a positive outcome. From being a critical IDM baby under close observation to going home healthy in just a few days, this is what NICU teamwork and parental cooperation can achieve. Doctor, through this story, I want to raise awareness among mothers. If you're diabetic or develop gestational diabetes during pregnancy, please take it seriously. Regular blood sugar monitoring, dietary control, and proper medication can prevent complications for your baby. Every baby that enters our NICU has a story. Some are tiny fighters. Others surprise us with their size and strength. This baby reminded us that every case is unique and every life is precious. From the moment we held this chubby little miracle to the time he left in his mother's arms, we were reminded medicine isn't just about treatment. It's about compassion, teamwork, and hope. This video is for educational purposes only. It aims to increase awareness among parents, 
nursing students, and healthcare professionals about the management of infants of diabetic mothers, IDM. Please do not take this as individual medical advice. Always consult your pediatrician for specific concerns. If you found this story interesting and educational, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more real NICU cases and neonatal education. Every view and comment helps spread awareness for better newborn care.